the day I have to thank for uh, making a quick video to uh, wish everyone well as the season of winter is nearly upon us. I guess we're about, still about a month, no, not a month, but three weeks away. But as it, uh, as it gets colder, we all know that you need to uh, boost the immune system up. So I would recommend taking some really nice herbal teas instead of maybe a second cup of coffee. You can still have a cup of coffee in the morning. There's nothing wrong with that. I do every morning for sure. But I've cut down to one cup and uh, I used to do, I used to do a lot of coffee. And I used to buy it at Starbucks. I used to go to Starbucks every morning and get two giant um, Vente, Venti, Venti coffees. If you went in there and said, I remember the poor souls who used to, uh, Come in there and say, give me a large coffee. And they'd say, it's, do you want a venti or do you want a, I forget what the other names were. It's been a while since I've been to Starbucks. I save a lot of money, by the way. But, uh, you know, they can be kind of snobby. But I like most of the people who work there, become friends with them over the years and uh, have your coffee ready. They're just like everyone else. No different than the Dunkin' Donuts people, only they have usually have a master's degree <laughs> from some some university uh, where they majored in theater or women's studies or gender something or other or, or climate change, some useless major that uh, they'll never find a job in. And if they do find a job in, they'll make less than they do as a barista. But that's their business. And they, I must say they always treated me well. So I got no problem with them. And I hope they've done well. Like I say, I haven't been there in a long time. And I hope they're all doing well. They're all good people. Always, like I say, treated me well. So this video is about nothing in particular other than uh, when I w went out this morning to check the weather, as I do every morning, um, I could tell that winter was coming. Uh, although the temperature wasn't bad, it was that raw, rainy, cloudy, gloomy day. But winter has its purpose. I think it's a time to um, to recharge the battery and maybe accomplish some indoor tasks that you maybe have been putting off or get some work done if you work on the internet or if you work out of a home office or something. It's a good time to, um, to catch up on things that you may have been putting off because you wanted to get out in the fresh air and the sunshine, go to the beach and do all the the fun summer and fall things that we all do. And uh, so this is a good time for getting back to maybe things that earn us some money and make a living. I know I'm going to be doing a lot more videos uh, on, on health and, you know, they call me the old fruitarian because um, actually uh, I made up the name. They didn't call me that, but I thought it was a cool name and I am a fruitarian. So, um, and I'm, I'm going to try to do, lots of videos uh, this coming year. In fact, my goal is to do minimum of a thousand videos a year. Lucky you, huh? But you can always unfriend me or, you know, you don't have to follow me. It's, uh, I understand if, if you get tired of me, but I will try to put up videos that will be helpful to you and useful to you. And they won't always be on, on fruit for sure. They'll be on herbs and uh, maybe just a, a life hack or two that I come across. Anything I find interesting, and I'll throw in the occasional rant, I'm sure. But uh, again, the beauty of YouTube and Facebook and all of the other platforms that uh, I put my videos on Twitter, and I got them on a bunch of them now. Um, I'm even on um, that, uh, what the heck's it called? I'm on BitChute. I'm on, I'm on a lot of different platforms, so... Um, it's, uh, you know, what, about, what other ones am I on? There's one, I um, can't remember the name of it, but I'm on like five or six. I'm on uh, LinkedIn. Anyway, it, there's so many platforms you can you can host your videos on now. Of course, you have to be careful not to cross the line because uh, Big Brother does not like you talking people talking to people about health and maybe deterring them away from um, the, the uh, mainstream medical uh, advice that they're receiving from their doctors and from the um, 
and from the news, you know, they watch the news. It's fine. Watch the news if you choose to. I, I turned it off back in 2012, coming up on 10 years. And you know what? I don't think it's affected my life at all, not knowing that uh, certain trials are going on or somebody shot someone in Wisconsin or ran them over with a bus or a van or a car. All of it's sad, I'm sure. But this stuff happens every day. People get hit by cars every day in Massachusetts, where I live. And if if the news put those stories on the news and followed their trials, then we might as well just have the legal network. And so, in my opinion, it's all it's all um, the mainstream media is in on it. Okay, they they want to make you afraid and they want to divert your attention from more important things. There are a lot more important things if you're going to be following. Um, events on the news, then there are far more important ones you should be following and maybe even doing a little work uh, to maybe change the way uh, the politicians are, are running uh, the society. But the, again, uh, that's uh, we'll save that for a rant for another day. I just wanted to jump on where I always find the day after Thanksgiving to be sort of like when I was a kid, the first day of school, it's almost like it's kind of a new beginning. Uh, I think the fact that you're with on Thanksgiving, you generally with people you care about and you love most of the time. And, and, um, and you know, it gives you, uh, I guess it gives you a perspective on the future and the past. And you think of those people who are no longer with you at the uh, Thanksgiving table. Um, in my case, uh, my parents and my, mother-in-law and, um, you know, people that have passed on and are no longer with us that made Thanksgiving very, very special. And you don't realize it, it's the old saying, until they're gone, but it's true. It's another one of those old sayings that are true. And um, so, <clears throat> you know, take advantage of the people you have around that table if you still have them and don't take them for granted. Um, Yesterday, um, we were over in my uh, daughter and son-in-law's house, which is right down the street from where I live, as we go every year for the last, I don't know, since we've been up here, about six years, I guess. And um, it has, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's evolved into uh, a tradition. Uh, prior to that, I lived in Linfield, and we would have um, everyone over our house, um, we had family and extended family and lots and lots of people over the years, uh, joined us for Thanksgiving dinner. And we have many, many good memories of those people and those festivities that we celebrated together. Um, but you make, you make new festivities, new memories. Now that I have a granddaughter, um, you know, it's just been very special to, and, 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 and it's kind of taken away the sadness of, of some of the memories because people that you love very much are no longer here, your parents or whatever. And uh, so having children and grandchildren, it's all part of the uh, circle of life. And that's how we, how we stay focused and, and keep going. You know, even though we might be very sad and losing someone, we have to be cognizant of the next generation and uh, make memories for them as well. So yesterday there was just a, uh, Kathy and I, and uh, of course, my uh, granddaughter and her parents, Caitlin and Mike, and um, Mike's parents, and his grandfather, who is Lucia's great grandfather. And I was very cognizant that looking at his, uh, Mike's grandfather, that this someday would be a wonderful memory for Lucia, even though she would have no memory of it. She's only three. But um, that she would know that she, her great grandfather was there. You know, m most of us, at least my generation, we have no, no, we, we never met our great grandfathers. Uh, most of us, there are a few lucky ones, but uh, anyway, I got to go because I just saw a friend of mine pull up in front of the house, speaking of memories and uh, I want to make sure uh, I open the door for him and welcome him in. So,